So today more than ever, the design of a modern building truly is a combination of both art and science. Particularly with a classical or traditionally styled building, we really have to focus on things like the proportion and the composition of all the elements coming together to, to, to make sure that they come together to be truly beautiful. I came to Civium because of the work they've been doing on the Immaculata, um, particularly interested in traditional architecture and traditional Catholic architecture. I agree with Dostoevsky, beauty will save the world. And I think this project is a move to push beauty in, into the front and center of the parish life. Um, without the good, the true, and the beautiful, we can never truly know God. And I think that this is a step towards the beautiful in a real true way. My name is Mariah Scott. I am a project architect with Civium Architects. My name is Theodore de Moncho. I'm a project manager. My name is Erica Tennell, senior interior designer. My name is Risa Kemper, and I'm project manager. My name is Ryan Pig. I'm an architectural designer. My name is David Hyde. I'm the principal of Civium Architects. We are, are Civium. So the new Immaculata, while being a traditional building in its appearance, is truly also a very state-of-the-art building in the systems that it contains. We have a very complex uh, HVAC system in which units will serve multiple spaces depending on which spaces are occupied when, allowing us to be more efficient in the number of units we have to put into the building as well as how much energy the building will consume when it's in operation. Uh, the building also will have a state-of-the-art audio system uh, for sound reinforcement. We're using a radiant floor heating system uh, in which hydronic tubing will be buried in the floor underneath the, the granite finished flooring that you'll all stand on. There has been an interest too in making sure that we have the ability for video recording of the mass. We are incorporating uh, all of the latest forms of fire protection in the building. So right now this church is a very complex design and we have a lot of wonderful details that we all want to bring everything into this design. And to do so, we have to make sure that our drawings all line up. The structural engineer with the mechanical engineer, the electrical engineer, the lighting consultant, and our team as we design the architecture. Towards our completion of our 100% corn shell set, we needed to understand how the drawing looked at kind of a full scale rather than just looking at it at half scale. So we printed the large 24 by 36 drawings of our front facade elevation. The single wall section from foundation to top of wall on the facade of this building wouldn't even fit on one sheet. In fact, it spanned across four sheets, which made it very difficult to understand what that wall really looked like. So one evening, for my convenience, I taped them all together uh, and quickly began to realize I had just created a drawing that was uh, taller than myself even. Uh, as it stood uh, nearly seven feet tall, we had to tape it up on the wall. The actual wall that that drawing represents will be 16 times taller uh, than that drawing is. What we have left to do is to continue to work with the owner on the more aesthetic and visual details of the building, picking out particular light fixtures for their decorative effect, looking at the finished materials that will clad floor and wall surfaces, what are the colors of those materials, what are the patterns that we're putting them down in. We've also begun collaborating with a liturgical painter uh, who's identifying places throughout the building that are most appropriate for liturgical artwork and what the themes that they would use and the color scheme that they would use in the building. Uh, so we're now working with them to help make sure that all of the, the surfaces that we're giving them are properly prepared for their, for their decoration. I really love the team that we have here at Civium. We have wonderful people who are very knowledgeable, but we also like to have fun and joke around with each other. Honestly, I love the people the most. I've been really blessed to work with Father Rutledge and then work with Bill Drew and some of the other characters. I'm probably the only person in my class to come out of graduate school and do the thing that they went to graduate school to do. A Catholic church in a traditional design. You know, it's not just like run-of-the-mill church work. It's like, this was what I went to graduate school to do.